Have you ever been attacked by the enemy? Of course you have. Every single one of us on this planet has been attacked by him, whether we realize it or not. And the truth is, attacks hurt. They don't feel good and they aren't nice. And there is nothing we can do to stop them. But what we can do is protect ourselves from the attacks. So today I want to share with you how you can protect yourself from the enemy's attacks. But not only protect yourself, but also have his pants completely backfire in his face. Extraordinary Living, helping you transition from where you are to where God wants you to be. The enemy, otherwise known as Satan, is the worst. He is despicable, relentless, cruel, nasty, and to top it all off, he doesn't play fair. He will sucker punch you and throw all kinds of below the belt blows simply because he's a disgrace. And I know this because that's exactly how he did me. See, the other day, someone that I don't know sent me a message that was very, what I consider below the belt. It was hurtful and unchristlike. And just so you can get an idea of the type of attack this was, this person told me that my son died because of me and that I was ignorant and deceived. Wow, really? Now, the good thing is that I'm learning as I go along this journey called life that I've got to protect myself from the enemy. So instead of responding and getting all caught up in my emotions, I simply laughed and deleted the email. You see, as I've spent more and more time with God and have gotten to learn more about his character, I was able to immediately recognize the enemy. Now, the individual isn't the enemy, but the spirit that was working through them was the spirit of the enemy because God would never, ever do something like that. It's not in his character. So instead of focusing on the lie, I focused on the truth, which was that I was not responsible for my son's death and that God loves me very deeply. The second thing I remembered was that I don't need to go back and forth with the enemy. When Jesus was tempted, he shut the enemy down with the word of God. There was no back and forth. And to be honest, after I read that message, things were popping into my head, but they weren't scriptures. So instead of responding and going back and forth with the person, I ended the conversation with a simple delete. Because, well, you have to understand that the last time I received a not so kind email regarding my ministry, I wasted time drafting a response, then deleting it, then getting all riled up again and drafting another response and then again deleting it. And then finally, I let it go. And the reality was that I was letting the enemy win by wasting my time entertaining the foolishness. So this time I was ready and I didn't waste the precious time that God has blessed me with responding to the enemy's attacks. I protected myself. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about war. We are in a spiritual war and war is not always about protecting yourself. It's also about fighting back. So just stay with me for a minute while I explain to you how I fought back, and how you should fight back too. Now, one of my girlfriends said something to me regarding this particular attack that really, really resonated with me. She said, oh, shucks, the enemy done messed up now because he has identified to you someone that needs to be prayed for. Now, of course, I know that we are supposed to pray for those who hurt us. But to be honest, my heart didn't feel like sincerely praying for this person because their words were extremely insensitive. However, when I looked at it through my spiritual lenses, I could clearly see what my girlfriend was saying. Prayer is our greatest weapon against the enemy. And if I were to get on my knees and plead with God to break whatever chain the devil may have had on that individual, I would in effect be tearing down the enemy's kingdom. And his stupid attack on my life would have backfired in his face. And I've got to tell you, that motivated me. I mean, I hate the devil. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. It's because of him and sin that we have to suffer. It's because of him that I don't have my son. So the best thing I could ever do is get on my knees and pray that his kingdom is torn down one individual at a time. And let me tell you, nothing would make me happier when this whole battle is over, but to get to heaven and look up and see the person who wrote me that letter and have both of us run up to each other and embrace each other and then laugh at what the enemy tried to do. That's true victory. And that's how the enemy's plans truly backfire in his face. So the next time he attacks you, protect yourself and also get on your knees and fight back. And when you're done praying, Stand up to your feet and with all the confidence in the world, say, in your face, devil. 
that's all I got for you guys today. I hope it means something to you. And I hope, I really, really hope that you remember the next time the enemy attacks you to fight back, fight back by getting on your knees. Let me know what you think about all this. Leave me a comment. Be sure to share this video. Maybe it could help somebody else and subscribe.